So the next presenter is Achan, and he's presenting generation-based versus retrieval-based uh, conversational recommendations, a user-centered comparison. Thank you for the inf uh, introduction. Uh, I am Ahat Shamandur, a PhD student at the University of Klagenfurt, Austria. According to a study by Mindshare in 2016, 63% of internet users in UK are ready to talk to the chatbots. We have seen increased number of usability of chatbots in practical application domains, probably due to the advancements in the fields such as natural language understanding, speech recognition, or maybe the popularity of deep learning models in general. Conversational recommender systems known as CRS have obtained an immense attention in the recent years. So according to the most recent definition uh, of conversational recommender systems, a CRS is a software agent that supports users in a multi ten dialogue while achieving their recommendation related goals. As, as we focus on this definition, no assumption is however made regarding the modality or the interaction paradigm of the conversational dialogue system. So coming towards the generation-based approaches uh, where multiple or maybe one ne neural network-based models are trained on, recommenda on recommendation dialogues uh, conducted between humans. So given the user utterance as an input, these trained models generate responses uh, to the, in the given context. So in our previous research, we did a comprehensive and multiple analysis on, on evaluating the performance of the responses generated by such generation-based approaches. And we found that uh, broken responses are very much often generated by such uh, generation-based systems. And in addition to that, we also found issues, for example, generation of two general responses, um, repetitive responses and recommendations in the same dialogue, and sometimes the misfit of metrics applied in their evaluation process. So deep CRS and KBRD are the most recent examples of conversational recommender systems based on generation approaches. The, these two approaches have been developed in the context of redial data set. A redial data set is collected with humans where uh, one human played the role of recommender and another as a uh, seek, uh, recommendation seeker. So we have in total 100 plus dialogues in this data set. Um, while analyzing these two works, we found that the focus on empirical evaluations or offline evaluations is way too much compared to the user-centric evaluations. And particularly in these, uh, the, the studies that reported in these papers, we found the study participants were quite limited. And sometimes the details regarding the background of study participants were missing too. So it was unclear to what extent these systems are usable in practice. So amid these uh, a number of issues regarding the responses of generation-based approaches, one wonders an alternative may, may do the trick. So in that context, we studied retrieval approaches in general. Overall, the idea is in retrieval approaches, the system fetch the responses and possibly adapt in the given context. So while looking at the literature of retrieval approaches in the context of NLP, uh, we found that the responses retrieved by such systems or such methods have advantage over the generation-based approaches. For example, the responses are usually complete, diverse, and semantically correct because they were originally made by humans. On top of that, the retrieval process is much computationally much economical compared to the generation approaches because we don't require the long-term training of the models. So 
in the context of NLP, we f in the literature, we found a number of works applied in the various NLP tasks. For example, machine translation, Q&A, and open domain dialogue systems. Apart from that, we also found practical applications based on retrieval methods. For example, Alimi, uh, which is a QA system developed by the Alibaba group, and Zios. Uh, th this is also a social chatbot system developed by Microsoft. Finally, we also find works on hybrid multi tenant dialogue systems where the researchers usually try, at, at least try to combine the merits of both generation and retrieval approaches in a system. In such retrieval methods, some computational tasks, for example, sporting a multi tenant dialogue is similar to the task of conversational recommendation. And in, in our, in, our uh, like in, in this context, we see that the approaches that, that uh, focus on the conversational problem is practically or maybe uh, intuitively possible to apply for the conversational recommendation task. So in this context, we propose a very basic retrieval approach for conversational recommendation uh, based on a key nearest neighbor approach. Given the overall, the idea is given the user utterance, the retrieval module, which is based on K TF IDF vector models uh, on the redial data set, retrieves and similar seeker utterances from the dialogue corpus, and that that these responses further undergo a ranking process uh, for the uh, for the co competition of possible uh, or best response. So once after the ranking, once supposedly the best response is selected, the system integrates recommendations and metadata information, for example, genre, actors, or directors in the responses. So based on this uh, background, we are interested to evaluate these two research questions in our evaluation methodology. First, does the claimed superiority of KBRD over deep CRS reproducible in a user-centric analysis? And second, how do the retrieval methods fare in comparison to generation-based approaches to CRS? So in our evaluation methodology, we basically relied on a user-centric analysis uh, where we utilize the continuations to the dialogue situations from the 70 dialogue situations from the 70 dialogues from the test data set of Redial uh, using deep CRS, KBRD, and RBCRS. Please note that we, we utilize the code of deep CRS and KBRD and produce the dialogues locally uh, using the same hyperparameter settings. So the specific task given to the participants uh, recruited from the Amazon Mechanical Turk was to rate the quality of responses, including recommendations in terms of the overall meaningfulness of the response. So to conduct our evaluation study, we developed an online application where a particular human evaluator is shown a piece of dialogue uh, st st always starting from the first utterance and ending by the user utterance. So the as a continuation to this dialogue situation, the chatbot responses from three different systems like deep CRS, KBRD, and RBCRS were shown in a random order. Please note that the specific dialogue and size of the dialogue situation were computed randomly too, as we were interested to obtain multiple feedbacks on a particular uh, dialogue situation. So uh, a particular human uh, evaluator has to rate three responses on an absolute one to five scale labeled from entirely meaningless to perfectly meaningful. So in this way, a particular human evaluator has to rate 10 such dialogue situations, and one situation was considered as an attention check, um, just, to have the, just to increase the validity of our study. So here is the overall summary of our experiment. In total, 87 participants accomplished the task. 
out of them, 27 cases were rejected uh, based on the failed attention check or dubious patterns uh, depicted in the, in the manual inspection. Finally, we were left with 60 uh, actual candidates, uh, sorry, party spends having 540 rated dialogue situations. On average, uh, the participants took 11.2 minutes uh, to complete this task. So here we have the demographic details of our participants, uh, of our study participants, uh, and it is clear to note that a majority of the participants in our study are fluent in English and were act active movie watchers. This background may be, may be uh, essentially a requirement to conduct such a particular study in a practical domain. So, however, such, such an analysis on the, back, on the background of study participants were missing in many works on CRS. So the results of our user study uh, show that RBCRS on average outperformed both generation-based approaches. And that KBRD is a favorable system over deep CRS and this finding is in line with the original work of KBRD. The histogram uh, that shows the percentage of responses uh, against the ratings uh, show that in the context of RBCRS, uh, the system receives rating one less frequently and rating five most frequently. Probably this is the, this is the reason why RBCRS performed, uh, outperformed uh, compared to other systems. With this, with this experiment, uh, we indicate that a substantial room for improvement is still available in terms of generation-based approaches and also retrieval approaches, as the retrieval approach is the first ever work we, we try to you know, uh, adopt in our, in, our, uh, in, in our conversation recommender systems domain. Additionally, we also conducted a qualitative analysis regarding the particular secret questions uh, about, the metadata, uh, about the metadata of the items. So for example, the particular question could be, who is the star actor in this movie? Or what this movie is about? So we took the data of our previous experiment and found that there are 25 unique cases where the dialogue situation ended with a specific seeker question. And overall, we found that all the systems performed poor in this particular context, including RBCRS. However, deep CRS worked best, but of course, received very low ratings in two thirds of the cases. And here we, we observed a very interesting pattern, like RBCRS often received a rating three in case it reacted with a recommendation response instead of presenting a factually wrong or completely meaningless response. So this is also uh, a very um, statistically uh, inferred uh, concept, like to present with a, with a relevant response rather than factually wrong response. With, with this uh, additional analysis, we highlighted a particular area where, where I mean, uh, extra con uh, concentration is required uh, to, en to handle such corner cases in terms of conversational recommender systems. So, but in the end, we, our, our message with this research work is we provide a study design that may serve as a blueprint for future human-centric evaluations of such dialogue systems. And finally, it is vital to also investigate what is specifically not working instead of reporting analysis on what is working, a missing aspect in many works on CRS. Thank you. So we have a couple of questions from the online audience. So do you have numbers on internet data's agreements for the user ratings? Uh, could, could you please repeat? Do you have numbers on inter-annotator agreement for the user ratings? Inter-what? Inter-annotator. 
annotator yeah annotator okay we uh, so we have in total 87 uh, participants uh, in our experiment and we discarded 27 of them so finally we the results are based on 60 valid uh, participants uh, having nine dialogue situations um, rated per participant so in is that correct what i understood so sen is writing do the users agree on the ratings there is some echo problem here okay do the users agree on the ratings what do you mean agree so so do the users agree on the ratings were the same situation given to multiple part uh, participants okay okay um i see the basically um we did not do any uh, analysis on inter uh, inter feedbacks by different participants on the particular um, uh, dialogue situation so but yeah for future work i guess this is an interesting uh, a concept to you know to, to find work. the correlations between different participants uh, for a particular case i was just wondering what were dubious patterns that you used actually in discarding Okay, so uh, thank you for asking this question. Uh, basically, uh, when we, uh, after the experiment, uh, when we um, manually inspected the whole data, we found that there were some users uh, who did not accomplish the task attentively. Uh, attentively, uh, you can say um, more attention, at, with the attention, uh, because we found some patterns, for example, if, uh, if, if a particular response, for example, hello, what kind of movies are you looking for, is presented by the one system. And in the same dialogue situation, the, some, the, same, the same response is also presented by other system and, and receive different ratings, completely different ratings. We see like, okay, this is the dubious pattern okay. because this is the inconsistency of the same type of response given the same context. Uh, uh, this is just one case, uh, but uh, in our paper, we also mentioned some other cases. Uh, like uh, in total we had three cases, uh, three criteria actually that we found during the manual inspection and uh, we, we discarded a few cases like five or seven in total, I'm not sure about this. But we have already reported the data on our uh, repository so it's quite uh, easy to find the exact numbers. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I think we are already over time. I have another question I will write it in the hub for you. For sure. Thank you very much. Thank you for the attention.